This is CBS. Look what Thriftway has done about that can't get the plastic bag open syndrome. A steady downward flow of air that opens one bag after another. When you look for something you can't find at Thriftway, speak up. Service is what we're all about. A little thing, sure. But it takes a lot of little thoughtful things to make Thriftway, Thriftway. Thriftway's the best way to save. Super 7, serving the Odessa Midland area. Up next on Super 7 News at 10, West Texans may soon be breathing a little easier. We'll have the story. Also tonight, we'll take you to the Nevada desert, to the mysterious Area 51, as our series on UFOs continues. Temperatures are well above normal from the Dakotas all the way down through the Permian Basin. We've got a hot weekend forecast. And in sports, we'll talk about Midland High football and also Texas Tech football. Super 7 News is next. Did you know there is one insurance company insuring more cars and homes than any other in the United States? Did you know that company's number one agent is located right here in the Permian Basin? Houston Copeland, for the third consecutive years, has insured more cars and homes than anyone in the nation. You may wonder why we run so many different television commercials. We just wanted to get your attention to let you know that we have the best insurance buy in the Permian Basin. Houston Copeland. He's been here. He'll be here. From the Permian Basin's news team of the 90s, Caroline Thaw and John Butler. Weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Loria. And Kurt Kaiser with the latest in sports. Super 7 News, Late Edition. Good evening. Residents of South Odessa may be breathing easier tonight. A 17-month conflict between the state of Texas and Dinogen Incorporated over offensive emissions apparently has been resolved. A settlement was announced last night just before an open forum at Blackshear Elementary School for residents of South Odessa. Assistant Attorney General David Priester says the settlement is expected to solve problems of foul odors from a wastewater system in solar ponds. The agreement is subject to the approval of Judge Tryon Lewis. If approved, a trial scheduled for June 4th will be canceled. Dinogen was sued in December of 1989 on charges that emissions from the plant adversely affected air quality. The latest petition against the company was filed April 1st with 610 allegations against the plant. Meanwhile, a federal report released today says Texas leads the country in poisonous industrial discharges. The Environmental Protection Agency's annual toxic chemical release inventory says industries in the Lone Star State either released into the environment or transferred elsewhere toxic discharges of nearly 793 million pounds. That was in 1989. The Texas Water Commission says the concentration of chemical and petroleum industries the is the in biggest the reason Texas is ranked number one. However, due to tougher waste reduction measures, toxic discharges were actually less than in previous years. Land Commissioner Gary Morrow says the figures also indicate a need for stricter vehicle tailpipe emission standards and the creation of a State Department of Natural Resources. Proposals that he, he proposes... Um, proposals that he says are being delayed by automobile and big oil company inter interests. That was a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Well, weather-wise, we've got uh, summer-like weather up ahead. Joe? Yeah, definitely so. Calendar says the end of May, but we've got some really mid-July heat shaping up now for West Texas. Here's what we put into the books for today as we turned out our seventh hot day with temperatures above 90 degrees in a row. 91 degrees for a high temperature. Normally, we should be in the middle 80s. Morning low temperature, pretty comfortable, and believe it or not, we'll actually be downright close to that again for bright and early tomorrow morning. A lot to tell you about. We'll take care of all the weather business in just a little while. Let's go back to John. All right, thanks, Joe. A federal building in Midland may soon be getting a new name. Congressman Lamar Smith has introduced a bill to the U.S. House of Representatives to change the name of the Midland General Mail Facility. Smith wants to change the name to honor a Midland resident who worked for the U.S. Postal Service for 46 years. The new name would be the Carl O. Hyde General Mail Facility. He conceived the idea of this Midland General Mail Facility and helped make it become reality. Uh, this uh, bill has been endorsed by the Midland Chamber of Commerce, by the Midland County Commissioner's Court, and by the Midland uh, City Council, so it has widespread support. 
Not only does Smith have the backing of city officials, he has the support of Hyde's former co-workers as well. All of the employees are very supportive of the ideal and have been very instrumental in writing letters to uh, Congressman uh, Smith and to uh, Senator Graham uh, trying to get them to sponsor bills to uh, get the uh, pass to where we could name this facility after Carl Hyde. Congressman Smith says he introduced the bill last year. It passed in the House, but not the Senate. This time, however, he's confident that it will pass. The name change could take place later this year. Well, most of us consider our eyesight the most important of our senses, yet eye doctors say we tend to ignore our eyes when they need medical attention. That's why this week has been named National Sight Saving Week. The Toya Eye Clinic in Odessa celebrated today with a free eye clinic. More than 100 people came out for free glaucoma and cataract testing, as well as vision screening. Today with uh, eye problems, and we've recommended to other eye specialists and some to come back in for further eye exams. Nurses at the Toya Clinic say they plan to hold these free clinics about once every six months. Well, ask any consumer advocate what the most common complaint is, and car problems are usually right at the top. Well, if you're in this situation, the Texas Lemon Law may help. Law professor Richard Alderman has more. Buying a new car. For most of us, the second costliest purchase we will make. And while that new car usually runs just as expected, every once in a while, it turns out to be a lemon. Well, if you find yourself the unfortunate owner of a defective new car, you should know that Texas has some real lemon aid. The Texas Lemon Law protects you whenever you buy a new car that turns out to be defective. Under the law, a car is a legal lemon if it has been in for repairs four or more times for the same defect, or it has been in the shop a total of 30 or more days during the first year, and the defect substantially impairs the use and market value of the car. This means that the defect must be major. Problems with your cigarette lighter or ashtray will not be sufficient to fall within the Lemon Law. The Texas Lemon Law is administered by the Motor Vehicle Commission. And they have the power to get you your money back or a new car. And you don't need a lawyer to use this law. To find out more information about the Lemon Law, simply call 512 476-3618. But the Lemon Law only applies to new cars. Next time, we'll tell you what your rights are when it's a used car. From the University of Houston Law Center, I'm Professor Richard Alderman for the Texas Young Lawyers Association. And we'd like to remind you, if you have a complaint under the Lemon Law, you must file within the first year and a half that you own the car. And the stock market advanced today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose over 28 and a half points. Trading was moderate as 154 million shares changed hands. West Texas Intermediate Crude closed out the day with a slight loss, losing three cents a barrel. How could a good-looking truck get ugly when it costs too much? That's how. So let me show you a good-looking truck, a Ford Ranger XLT from Sewell Ford with a $2,139 discount. Is that beautiful? Yeah, and the truck ain't bad either. Or how about this Ranger XLT Super Cab with an $1,850 discount? Get one and I'll give you my unlisted number. Don't you buy no ugly truck. See Sewell Ford, 2425 East 8th. This is Tom McMinn in the Relaxation Center here at McMinn's. The Relaxation Center is where you'll find the area's largest selection of action recliners by lane. We have over 20 styles to choose from and over 200 recliners in stock for immediate delivery. Come in and see the new Shays recliners from Lane. With extra padding for your legs, they're the most comfortable recliner ever. So lay back and relax in your new Lane recliner from the Relaxation Center at McMinn's. McMinn's Furniture. What about you? What a store. Who makes the world's greatest hamburger? World's greatest. Bud Ruckers. 